Hey mate, look what's behind us. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The beating heart of Australia. So we came from Coober Pedy yesterday. We drove from Coober Pedy to Curtin Springs, which is around 100 kilometers from Yulara where we are at the moment. We stayed in Curtin Springs because it was a long drive and because there is a free campsite that we could stay there. So we did. And then we drove this morning to Yulara, which is 100 kilometers from Curtin Springs, like I mentioned. And because we are in a national park, there is no freedom campsites here. So we ended up staying in a paid one, which is called Ayers Rock, which is also the name of Uluru that the white people gave to Uluru when they first came. And now we were supposed to stay two nights. Oh my God, we were supposed Flash. to stay two nights, but we are now staying four nights. And reason being that we arrived here and we asked how much was it for a night and it was $52 for a power is... site. Very expensive. Which is very expensive. So for a powered site, we didn't need a powered site. We could just do with the unpowered sites. But at the moment, they are under renovation. So we had only that option. Uh, but we spoke with the lady. We asked nicely if she could do anything about the pricing. She said that she could give us the powered site if we did not use the power for $45 instead. And we also asked, we were being cheeky, but if you don't ask, you don't get. So we also asked if there was any deals going around, because sometimes the campsites have deals. And they said that if we stayed four nights, they could do a 30% off, which sounded really good to us. We did the maths and we said, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, instead of the 45 that we were supposed to pay for per night, we ended up paying 32. Yeah, so in total, 126 dollars for four nights, which is great. Yeah, for us here, especially being here, it's surrounded by not much. It's a good deal, and we have uh, running water, showers, flushing toilets, free Wi-Fi, and a swimming pool, which is amazing. It's awesome. Uh, anyway, it turns out that four days is just perfect amount of days here instead of the initial two that we had planned because not just Uluru there, not just Uluru there to visit, but we also have Kata Chuta. Where is it? Which is yeah. my left, just there. Come really to this side. You can't really see it well, but. These are the views from our campsite, by the way, so we have really awesome views. Yeah, that's it. That's Kachuta. it, Kachuta. And apart from Uluru and Katachuta, there's also free activities that we can do around here in Yulara. So we are pretty convinced that the four days are the perfect amount of time because we were working out what to do each day so we wouldn't do much and we wouldn't do too less so perfect four days we recommend the four days and if you come during low season like we did take advantage of the deal yeah just ask as christian was saying if you don't ask you don't get yeah. it <laughs> so now that we had lunch we are ready for our day and we are heading to Uluru and now we have to go and pay for the entry of the national park which is $38 per person and it gives you access for three days yep that's the plan so we're going to visit Uluru which is 20 kilometers from Yulara and then I think on the third day we are going to visit Katachuta um, which is 50 kilometers from here yeah and yeah so now we're not going to include everything on this video obviously but we're going to include what we're going to do today and then probably do um, a video a day yeah of what we do break it here. down because there's it down, a, yeah. a lot to do here all right so first stop Uluru season this is pretty busy I wouldn't I was not expecting so many people around 
uh, because we haven't seen many people on the roads. But there's quite a few people. They're all here. Yeah. Now, speaking of the logistics of going from and to the free campsite, which is 100 kilometers, this vehicle consumes petrol as a beast. It consumes 18 liters to 100 kilometers. So if you do the maths, that's 32 liters. Petrol here in Yulada is $2.70. That will be $97 to go and to come back. So, makes sense staying here, paying only $32. So, it's saving money, staying here. Yeah. Free doesn't mean that you're saving money sometimes. So, you just yeah. have to do the maths. Exactly. Plus, we would have to pay for showers at the free camp site. And we would have zero facilities. And here, at least, we have the free showers. We have the facilities, which are not much. We don't have a communal area, but still, we have um, a place like a big place for us, which is nice and tidy. And yeah, like Juan was saying, free doesn't mean uh, no costs. It just means that you have to do all the maths and think about all the logistics. Yeah. Be smart. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's head on to. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, and yourself? Good, thank you. Just the two of you? Yes. So, coming into the park, it's $38 per adult. Okay. And those tickets are valid for three days. Nice. Okay? Yep. And do you have a postcode or where are you from? Portugal. Portugal. So, this includes Uluru and uh, Katachuta. Katachuta, yep. Nice. So it's $76. Okay. Thank you. Technology. Take Thank care. You. and it's around 11 kilometers and we are finally here with the road right in front of us this majestic massive rock <laughs> We are now officially here. Finally, we headed straight to the cultural center where we learned a lot about Uluru, the national park, the indigenous people. We couldn't film or take any pictures inside because we were not allowed, but it's very insightful. There's a lot of information that we are still processing. Uh, but now we headed to a walk. It was too late to do the pace walk that we wanted, which is the walk around the whole Uluru rock. Uh, so we decided to do, I think it's called Kunia uh, walk, which is like four kilometers in total. And it's supposed to be one of the most diverse walks. So we chose that one. Yeah, if you want to do the walk all around Uluru, Uluru it's 11 kilometers and it takes three and a half hours. Unfortunately, we don't have time for that because of the sunset. Sunset. it's now already 5.30 and sunset yeah. it's at... 7.30? Yeah. So, so no time for that. Well, we are here and we are allowed to touch the big rock. So we're going to do that right now. It's going to be... All right, ready? A one, a two, a three. <gasps> we touched the rock and it's so hot. I don't know why we can still have your hand there. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. It's so hot. But you can definitely feel the energy here. Yeah, you can. Indeed. It transmits some like positive energy yeah because everything is flat here and this is just out here it's just popped up massive rock on a massive landscape that's all flat it is it is amazing and that's why this place is also sacred and it's sacred for the indigenous people oh yeah this is massive 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 well like we said it takes 11 kilometers to go all around just for you to have an idea, this is taller than the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Not the Eiffel, Eiffel. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. I don't know why I said that.
Fun fact. The Aboriginal have been calling Uluru area home for over 30,000 years. They are the oldest continued tribe in the world with the oldest continuing culture. Another fun fact about Uluru is that it's 863 meters tall and 2.5 kilometers deep. It's just like an iceberg on land. completed we are now returning this one is not one we that we can just loop around we have to return on the same way that we came but it's pretty pleasant nice views all the way with the Uluru of course and yeah we have a little bit of shade as well it's not too hot today so we chose a perfect week to come to Uluru as well because it's not super hot but it's also not super cold so Perfect. We were complaining a few days ago about the weather, it's been raining miserable, yeah. but now you were blessed. I know, we were complaining as we arrived in Kuvu Pedi and it was a little bit not so good, but now can't complain anymore. <laughs> Look at this, check this out, we found an oasis in the middle of the desert. This is where people used to rely on water. Fascinating. And there's also a cave down there that we're gonna check out. Yeah, and this is just the start of a very short walk. It's the same start as the walk that we did, but this one is much, much quicker. Okay, so this is the map of the walks. This was the first one that we did, the green one from here until here, and then we came back. And then we did this shorter one, the Kunia walk, that took us to the waterhole and the cave that was somewhere here as well and now we are heading to the sunset viewing area which is here that Uluru does change colors throughout the day depending on the light it is true we've just seen it happen that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed and we shall see you on the next one Peace.